Meanwhile, a gruesome crime sending shockwaves through the Mishawaka community. A high school football player is accused of killing a cheerleader and their unborn child. 16-year-old Aaron Trejo is charged as an adult with murder and feticide. He's accused of stabbing and killing a 17-year-old Brianna Ruslan. She was six months pregnant. WSBT 22's Max Lewis has been following this story since the news broke over the weekend, and he is at the live desk. And Max, court documents late this afternoon are giving us a better idea of what led up to this crime. Yeah, Dane, they provide insight into what investigators found at the crime scene and why police say Trejo wanted to kill the mother of his unborn child. The crime scene tape is gone now, but all that's left is a teddy bear and some flowers. So I just wanted to bring a little bit of beauty back to sort of a darker space right now. This woman placing flowers trying to come to grips with what happened in this alley. 17-year-old Brianna Ruschling was last seen late Saturday night. Her mother told investigators she was meeting up with the father of her unborn child, 16-year-old Aaron Trejo. It was the last time she would see her daughter alive. A few hours later, police were at Aaron Trejo's door. The police found bloody pieces of Brianna's clothing in this alley. Trejo later told investigators that he stabbed her in the heart, put her in a plastic bag, and took her body down this alley. Investigators say Trejo then took her body wrapped in that plastic bag and put it in this dumpster. Police say in an effort to cover his tracks, Trejo threw her cell phone and the murder weapon in the river. Police later recovered her body out of that dumpster and immediately questioned Trejo. According to court documents, the two were having a fight because Trejo was upset he didn't know about the pregnancy sooner. When asked what he did, he said, quote, I took action. I took her life. He told investigators he brought the knife and garbage bag from home and said he, quote, had been planning and thinking about killing Brianna and the baby for about a week. It's heartbreaking. Um, you don't think of something that tragic happening so close to home. An autopsy confirmed Brianna died from multiple stab wounds. Investigators also discovered that she had been strangled with a scarf. It's a terrible thing that happened in this neighborhood to someone who's very, very bright. Now, Trejo will be in court tomorrow. Right now, he's being held in the St. Joseph County Jail without bail. At the live desk, Max Lewis, WSBT 22 News.